And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have our guest in the building. Joining us on the show this afternoon is an award-winning rapper who had one of the biggest songs last year, continuing on his winning streak. He gave us another banger this year that got us in our feelings. And right now, he has another one which is presently running the airwaves. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the leader of the revival and the self-acclaimed rap Nazaria. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have Laddie Poe in the building! Hey! I like the way I'm feeling now! Did you, did you get what I did with the I intro? Got it, got it. You saw the feelings? I was you impressed. saw the running? <laughs> I was impressed. Oh! oh. 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 Children are killing me! <laughs> Laddie Poe, I would like to say congratulations on all the wins Thank because you, you know what? I won't even lie. For the longest, I am one of those people that I've been cheering you on. You might not know, but behind <laughs> the scene, we're like, oh, wow. oh, oh. And you know, I keep saying it's that Laddie Poe is underrated. Laddie Poe is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not because you have blown. I said it to so many people, like, do you know Laddie Poe? <laughs> and then they're like, uh, and I'm like, no, you know, like, you need so. To know. I love the fact that you did that one with Simi, and from there on, it was just like magic. Thank you. And I really want to know what you thought about before doing that with Simi, and uh, yeah. you know, before then, were you in doubt, okay, or were you giving <laughs> up at some points? Like, I have one thousand and one things to ask. Uh, you. Um, working with Simi was something that I've been looking to do for a while. And I remember I, I found a message where I'd hit her up, and I said, you know, I want to work with you on a song, you know, and I'd like to meet you. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm down to meet you, too. But the other, working on a song, that's not up to me. And I remember, um, fast forward a couple of years later, I was in her studio. We had seen enough of each other's music to, for her to invite me over. And um, she was asking me a bunch of questions, like, you want to ask me now? <laughs> and, you know, she was asking me these questions. And I said, you know, Simi, if it was anybody else, I'll tell them I don't, I don't know you well enough to answer those questions. Oh, wow. Right? You know, and, um, she, and I said, Simi, you know what? A good idea for a song. Woo! You know? And uh, it was like, uh, you know, knowing, not knowing a person well enough, but still mm -hmm. feeling strong feelings for them. And, that's, and we sat down and wrote it. You know, and she's an amazing, not just an amazing artist, but an amazing engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, she engineers her music. Mm -hmm. She was there in the studio saying, okay, no, 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 <laughs> take it again. <laughs> see how she has comments here too about Adekunle yeah. Boda. She, her, that she, she's that a taskmaster. <laughs> yes. I'm joking, see me a bit, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, it was a pleasure working with her. And uh, from there, of course, you know, it was, became the lockdown anthem. And uh, of course, this year I had to do something even more. Mm -hmm. you know, one, mm -hmm. one is not enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. People I need agree. To me. <laughs> need to feel me. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's talk about your songs and social media. Okay. Especially TikTok. Oh. <laughs> like, you were talking about the lockdown, and I'm like, during the lockdown, I was on TikTok, and I was, I was always seeing the, uh, challenge. the challenge, yeah, yeah, like yeah. everything. Yeah. And then when you said, do it me, and yeah. all of that. And I'm like, how were you able, at first, I thought to myself, how were you able to manage it during the lockdown? Then I remember mm. TikTok, I'm like, okay, so how did you feel when you found out so many people loved your songs and wanted to be involved? I mean, it was we had over 150,000 TikTok videos. You know? Crazy. TikTok, they nominated it for one of the songs yeah. of the year. Yeah. You know? So that was amazing to me. Um, for the duet, really, it was simple because the song meant to me, especially because we're in lockdown, you know, keeping in touch in times when everybody's so far apart. And the duet was, the, I felt, a way to show that we're together, even though we're in a different mm -hmm. place. So it's amazing to see how many people locked on to it. Catherine, I didn't see your own. <laughs> I well, actually you did. You did it. After you said the interview. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. You know, so, I mean, uh, to me, it was just amazing. And, and it became a vehicle by which the song really traveled, mm -hmm. not just to this, in this country, but across Everywhere. Africa mm -hmm. and even abroad as well. So I'm very grateful for those things. But it came out of just wanting to do something in lockdown, something mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about this, the leader of the revival. Yeah. What's that all about for people that do not know? The leader of the revival, you know, it really came at a time where... The revival to me is reviving artistry, like what it takes to be an artist. It's not just vibes and, you know, putting us, it's putting yourself out there, but there's a side of you that people need to see. What makes the music work? You have to reflect the times as an artist. There's a lot of things that go into being an artist, and I want to represent all of that. I was told categorically that the kind of music I make will not work in this country. Oh. So I want to stand for the people who have been told the same thing that I represent that, you know. So the leader of the revival was, at the time when I came up with it was a way to encourage myself. <laughs> me, I was not 
you know, but now it's becoming much more than that. It's now becoming a movement. Mm -hmm. So I see that you've been encouraging yourself a whole lot because 100%. when we go on Instagram, we see every time you tell yourself that, okay, if I were to tell myself something, I would just say, yeah. keep running. Yes. And then the other yes. time you were talking about the chess game you played mm. with Fireboy, uh, <laughs> one of the scenes, uh, you know, yeah. in running, and yeah. then you said that you were actually playing against your old songs or yes. something of that yeah. sort. You want yeah. to explain it. What's the motivation about? So pretty much... Um, the running video, which is out right now, is an amazing video shot by director K. And one of the concepts we wanted to do was telling your old self, what would you tell yourself mm. now? Mm. Especially now that things have maybe opened up or you see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. But then you couldn't quite see it. You know, I think I would have told myself that, bro, like, keep running, stay motivated, and don't worry as much. You're doing the right thing. I think that's the main thing. Mm. And so in the video, what we did was... I wore my outfit for my song, Jai, which I shot in 2019. Mm, yeah. It's the exact same outfit, yeah. right? And then Recreated Fireboy. It. Exactly. And then <laughs> I'll tell you about my hair. <laughs> yeah. Because I had not. That, 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 that happened. <laughs> That's all. So they had to now, they had to, what they had to do is, because obviously then I had shorter hair. So they had to put a wig cap, they put glue, they put <laughs> thing in it. Now, trimmed it down. It was a whole process. Oh I was God. not happy. You know, director K, I'm coming for you. But then Fireboy wore his outfit from the Jealous video, mm -hmm. which is also yeah, really with the mm -hmm. And that was his first big yeah. song. So, you know, and he's, I love his caption on Instagram. He said, imagine if I didn't keep running. Mm. Imagine if he stopped. Imagine if he mm. didn't release Jealous. You yeah. know? So I think that um, it, the video was our way of saying Yes, you're running on vibes, but the most important thing is you're still running. I like. Interesting. I like. All right, I, I, love, I, like. I like the fact that we're all running, but right now we need to go on a quick break, and when we get back, ladder post still in the building. Yes, sir. The vibe. No <laughs> oh, wow, vibes. Oh. I feel the anointing from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, we still have the leader of the revival, Ladi Pill, in the building. You know, mm -hmm. I always ask myself this question. You love the way you were feeling. You decided to run on vibes. <laughs> and then you chose Fireboy. Why? Was it because of the fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, it's the thing about it is that in 2020, Fireboy and I were having conversations and I was just telling him that, bro, I was listening to your album, you know, Laughter, Tears and Goosebumps. And I was like, this is just your, your writing. Mm. It's more than just putting things together. You're intentional. And I was like, you know, I really like that. And he said, you know, the same thing about my music and congratulations on Know You. Yeah. There's this mutual positive mm. energy between us, you know. So it was like, okay. And then there's a time that D Smoke came from... America, D Smoke um, is an artist. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he came yeah. around and I said, I went to link him up, uh, and Fireboy was there. And I was just like, look, let's get into the studio. It took some time, but eventually, <laughs> once we locked into the studio, we knocked out about two, three songs. Mm -hmm. Running uh -huh. was the last one. Interesting, wow. interesting. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you because were. oh wow, yeah. <laughs> because you know, I am like okay. So you're particular about the people you yeah. uh, feature yeah. in your song, Semi yeah. Buju, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fireboy, mm -hmm. and then every time we're looking forward to who's Would next, <laughs> who's the special person? Because when you were going to talk about uh, Fireboy, you said I have one special, you know, <laughs> because, person. Because you know, to me, is I want to feature with people who want to work with me. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that's the first criteria, and that mutual energy has to be there because. That's what makes the best music. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable being in one another's space and, you're, and therefore you're allowing yourselves to be yourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and you make the best music, authentic music. Because if you're saying that people will want to work with you, Buju, for instance, if we go to Instagram and we see what Buju shirts up like, <laughs> what he says every time he feels on top of the world, like, you know what? And then he's calling everybody out every now and then. How are you so cool? Yeah, I mean, I think that, I think that uh, you know, everybody has their own personality type and what they feel that, you know, drives their music or, or what people want to mm. see, you know. But when, what I do know is that inviting Buju to the studio, um, it was great. The mm. energy was great. Mm. He came with a great spirit. Spirit. Um, his boys were in the studio, my boys were in the studio, we all jammed out right. mm -hmm. and we were singing that hook before we left. So we knew we had something special. <laughs> it's a jam. Yeah, okay. We knew that this is special. <laughs> we didn't know that. See, we didn't know it was going to choke like this. <laughs> ah, it like, yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and to be honest with you, this is a, a prayer as, as well as a statement of fact. Feeling is not done, you know. Mm. Yes, Nigeria it has um, yeah. embraced it, yeah. but the rest of the world is going to that song. Mm. What, what, what are you planning on doing? Like, I mean, I mean, I just see that the the US, the UK, big markets. Okay. I see the feeling being there because it's 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 a song that yeah. it's a proclamation of it's you're accepting how you feel now. Yeah, yeah. And you're reminding yourself in this moment, 
I don't know about yesterday today, but now I feel good. Love the way. How yeah. do I think that there is a, there should be like a pastor for music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the little yeah. revival. Yeah. Different yeah. kind of revival. Yeah. Revival night. Yeah. Pull up. Let, let, let's switch from music. <laughs> now you're a dad. How, how, how is that feeling? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you dad. Um, it's something I don't really discuss much, <laughs> but what I will say about it is that it's a very humbling experience, and it's um, it's also incredibly motivating. You know, if you ever you felt that you're on the wrong path, you're validated. Mm. I feel like for my life to have gone in this direction and for all these things to happen, I must have been going on the right path. And I just want to make my family proud, you know, and, and my child included. And um, that's all I want to say. Okay. Because okay. so I was going to talk about, you know, um, people being nominated, our dreams being nominated for mm. Grammys. Mm. Yeah, it's so interesting. Yes. It is not the first time, yes. but it's almost like, okay, right we now, want we it can now. see us. Oh, yeah. so oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why they're going to come for us. Oh, yes, we own it. Uh, no. No. Uh, because, oh, no, because you know, <laughs> I, I, tell you, I, I saw you something. Oh, you used to think, oh, Nasi finish. Uh, you yeah. put on see Grammy finish yeah. or something. But yeah. the thing is, we are working hard. Like, Nigerians yeah. are working hard and they can yeah. see us. Uh, the spotlight is here. You were nominated for a BET. BET yes. And yes. Um, I mean, joking about yeah. Grammys, I mean, it's not so bad now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if I wake up tomorrow, next year, uh -huh. and I see that Lady Pearl has been nominated, I feel good. Yes, that's um, What do you think? Are you going to be submitting stuff? I mean, for sure. I mean, I, there was a, I think it was 2019, I released a freestyle called the LOTR1, um, Leader of the Revival. It's the first series. And I said, I, I said, let me introduce myself in a way that you'll understand me. Nigeria's best chance of a rapper winning a Grammy. Mm. So it's something that I've already prophesied into my life, mm. period. So I believe it is possible. I don't know about we own it. But what I like about that is that we have Nigerians happy for Nigerians. Yeah. That's amazing, mm -hmm. you know? And I think that it's going to, what it, the impact it has on the generation coming behind us. True. There's a 10-year-old right now who doesn't know it, but he's going to be the next big, big thing on the continent. Very true. And we're there making sure that lane is open. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not surprising anymore. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that that's a very important thing, to give people the uh, feeling that they can do it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what Whiskey has done for me, Burner Boy has done for mm -hmm. me. I feel like mm -hmm. I can do it too. Actually, I actually love the fact that Nigerians encourage their artists, mm. and this is something that artists all over the world have come out at one point or the yeah. other to say. They've used it as an example. But now, uh, we see Nigerian artists who come out to tell their fans, well, I'm big, I'm way too big to talk with you and all of that. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so how do you relate with your fans and how do you work with the female fans, all of that exposure, saying we want more Lady Pearl, meow. Yeah, we saw the UK uh, tour, the fan went first of all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, First of all, I feel like Catherine's taking shots at somebody who says, uh, fans saying that telling your fans they're way too big. But no, no, no. See, there are many <laughs> artists that have come out to say okay, that. Okay, no problem. There's not one person. I understand. I understand. There are a couple of them. No, oh, they don't do terrestrial interviews again. Exactly. Ooh. Shots are being fired left, right, and center. <laughs> so what I will say about that is that um, I said I've always said that my fans they're my they're my mainstream. What I mean by that is that before there was world like there was acceptance, public acceptance of my music, I had fans mm -hmm. who liked my yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I respond to them like, you guys are my mainstream, you know? You're important to me. In fact, I call my fans my lifelines. Mm. That's like my nickname for them. You know, so they are the ones that evangelize for me. They're the ones that tell another person, eh, why you is Lady Kono in this conversation? Mm. So I, I carry them on my shoulder. And Terrestrial, look, man, I'm just happy to be here right mm -hmm. now. And I don't think that energy is going to go because I know the work that I put in. Mm. And I know that it was not just me alone that did this. So the communication, the fact that my fans have checked me, they're like, you don't commu tell us what is happening. Wow. Let us know in advance. Hey. So that's why I wrote a letter to them before I dropped my EP, yeah. Providence. Yeah. I said, I will be dropping this. Because <laughs> now I've learned. They want to know. They want mm -hmm. to be involved. Mm -hmm. So I will start to do that as much as I can. OK. So instead of writing letters this time around, why don't you tell us what to expect from that's you? What to expect. Very soon. Um, first and foremost, the I've EP dropped sells, my EP, yeah. Providence. It came out. Um, and it's, it's me to you. And mm. I'm very, very proud of it. Running is the first single. You know, there's other songs on it. There's Rema on it, featured yeah. on Afro Trigger. Mm -hmm. There's Amore on Love. That's a crazy song, too, the yeah. one Rema. You know, so um, if you, the more you listen to my music, the more you know my story. And so what to expect next is more videos like Running, amazing visuals, more performances. There will be a Laddie Pro performance next year, not this year. Hmm. Ah. But this year, we're in many places. <laughs> we're in many cities. You know, I want to make sure that I go as many places as I can this December. Mm. But 
there's going to be a Ladipo show where everybody here is invited. Mm. I, want, I want people to understand what I do. I'm performing on stage. That's where you turn the most unbelievers into believers. Oh, right. shit. So we have our invitation already, already now. for next year. Hey. Interesting. Yeah. Sorted. Done. Such a new year. Done deal. Done deal. Done deal. Done deal. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ladipo, yeah. for coming through. And of course, for always representing, doing good music. Thank you very much. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back to check out some of the craziness happening on social media, on social video. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked.